Okay, welcome everybody to coffee and cranberry juice so that my voice doesn't break uh, in the morning. So it's Monday morning and I've got a few things to show and tell and talk about. Then I'm going to work in. I pulled out all three of my abandoned books here. Uh, we'll do a little look through them and then uh, work in abandoned book. So we're going to do that. I'm going to set them down here for a moment. They're heavy when you pick up all three of them at once. Um, I need to put another piece of paper over my table. Um, yeah, but it is what this is where I work. Um, so then somebody asked me about Terry, Terry Trouble. Wait, wait for it. Or Terry Trouble. We call her our cougar. <laughs> <coughs> so I play my soundboard for her. So Terry's here, one of my mods, all my mods. <laughs> Janet's here, uh, Julie Topaz, <laughs> and uh, so I said good morning, I think, to everybody, uh, pretty much, if you have said hi to me this morning, hey, G, anybody else popping in, Dot, uh, thanks, everybody, for being here Monday morning, uh, I'm going to show my washi tape, I'm going to show off my washi tape, well, I did buy some more washi tape over the weekend, but Terry is asking me how I store my washi tape. Now, remember, I've had a lot of this washi tape for a long, long time. Um, I have a big tray. This is one of those office drawer trays. I found that the office drawer trays and the small pencil office drawer trays work the best for washi tape for me. For one thing, it's, it's open. I can see it. Uh, this one is pretty full. I've used some of these so they're not, you know, put away neatly here. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. And I kind of, I start out putting them, you know, color-coded. You know, here's like the teals and here's the oranges and reds and, you know, some patterns and greens, purples. <coughs> but th I got to say, this tray is the tray I use the least. So it sits over on a shelf behind me because I don't have room on my desk for this. So it sits uh, over here. The other one that sits behind me is this one that I don't use that much. These are a lot of those, um, and they're kind of old. Uh, I don't even know who makes these. But they're that peeling, peeling paper. You know, you peel it off the back. So these are more the paper tapes. Um, and again, this is, uh, let me see. This is a freezer bag. These these kind of long parchment paper, wax paper, <clears throat> they're all great. So if you don't have these little uh, office trays, these are your next best. And I do even have one of those on there on my desk. So again, this one sits on a shelf because I only have so much room on my desk, even for these long skinny ones. So these are the ones that I keep on my desk, and they just kind of line up all under my pencil, I mean my marker build over there. And this one, and I keep some of these because I give away a lot of washi tape and these little, um, these little plastic uh, embroidery floss things is what I wrap the washi tape around when I do giveaways. Uh, this one is... This is a parchment paper one, too, but I've just covered it with paper. So I've just put decorate. So you can just decorate them. Um, you don't have to just leave them wax paper. Uh, did make a holiday tray, or are the washies mixed in? No, they're all mixed in. Yeah, they're mixed in. Um, so, so because I use them, I don't try to necessarily put them all back in order. But anyway, so use one of these wax paper, parchment paper roll things. But do take off the metal, the metal uh, tear bar. There's a little metal tear bar where you tear your wax paper or your parchment paper. That doesn't really, it doesn't work for washi. You can't pull the washi over, and you got to take and peel back the washi. So having that little little metal strip there is not is not good at all. Hey CB, so just cut that off. And then I just covered it with pretty paper, and there's these. And so these just sit, again, this is in one of those um, pencil trays, that office trays. Same for this one, just a different size. So these all fit here. So I got some new washi this weekend because everything at Hobby Lobby, that's Paper Studio brand, that's Hobby Lobby's 
store brand. Everything Paper Studio was on sale 50% off. So I did get these, not these, those are another set. But I did get this set here, this set here, and the this set here. Now, this set here I did add, I had an extra red, I had an extra teal, and an extra yellow. I already had that, so I just stuck them in here with that. And then this one came as a separate, this was a... Uh, this, these two came together in their own a little thing. I think these are like a couple of dollars. Uh, everything was 50% off. So this was a separate little twofer. But this was in a tube. This was in a tube. I really like this. I haven't used these yet. I really like this one. Look at the little faces here, Liz. So, again, I always wait for those sales. So here's the little faces. There they all are right there. They're cute. So, uh, yeah, so I got those um, on the 50%. Here's some glasses. These are cute. Let me find the end. Those are cute. The little glasses. Then we got little cameras. I'm just feeling for the edge. Get it started. I haven't even tried to open this one yet. Got to get them started at the very, very first try, first time you use them. There we go. These little cameras, isn't that cute with little flowers all over them? And let's see what other one's cute. This one's cute. It's got little envelopes. Little gold foil envelopes. I know it's a nice set. Um, I really like that set. And again, everything was, you know, they're all 50% off. Um, this one has London, Paris, little words there and then you get a few little like this has got just little hearts on it kind of generic ones this one has little dancing hearts so yeah so I like those sets and then you can always use just solid colors like I said I had a few already the green a yellow I think I had a red and a purple something like that I already had some of those colors and I just stuck them in here with this other set that I got so yeah but this isn't a cigar box and I don't like this big square on my desk, so I'm going to have to cut down another uh, parchment paper or wax paper thing and cover it with paper and put these in. Because this takes up too much room. I can stack the these. See, I can set these right here and stack them like this right here in, on my desk. But a big square like this is really in my way. But for right now, it's just sitting there. So, yeah. Okay, so then I also got this set of stamps. These are all, again, Paper Studio. They're, these are the uh, Agenda 52 um, Hobby Lobbies kind of uh, their own planner stuff. And it's pa by Paper Studio. So whenever it says Paper Studio, that's a lot of stuff. It's not just the paper stuff. It's stamps. It's washi tape. It's scissors. <laughs> Any brand, anything that's a Hobby Lobby brand, Paper Studio, they have one of these sales at least every six weeks or so, where everything Paper Studio is 50% off, and that's really their best sale. So I got these, and, and I saw Darcy Glam was making fun of me, you know, Darcy who's visited me before. And I gave her a lot of my planner stuff back when she was here a couple years ago, three years now maybe. <clears throat> and because uh, I don't do planners and even though I have these I still don't do planners I don't do anything where it I have to you know schedule things now granted if I have an eye appointment or something that goes on the calendar on the refrigerator right there I don't I don't do planners in the traditional sense of I write down everything diarist 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 I don't do diary type planning. 
you know, a lot of the plan. And then again, I'm not dissing on planners. I love me some planners. I have me some planners. I have me quite a few planners, but I don't use them to track everything I do. I tried that one year. I tried writing down and tracking everything I did, and I could not wait for that year to end. Just saying. <laughs> However, that being said, just because you buy planner stickers doesn't mean you have to use them for a planner. Look at this. There's the cutest little phone hanger. There's a little coffee cup, a car. Now, there are four or five things here. One says grocery shopping, appointment, vacation, remember. You know, there's a, you, can, you can, don't have to buy planner sets. There's some sets that have every little thing like that with the words on them. But you don't have to, you know, look, look, hearts, a thumbs up, stars, flowers, geotag, <clears throat> envelope, a little pet paw, little um, shoes, uh, you know, little, now I do like bullet, I don't want to call it bu bullet journaling, I like listing. I love, you know, little things like this for lists. Um, there's the little potty people. <laughs> Yeah, and I can cut those words off. Exactly, Janet. Uh, note to self. You know, there's all kinds of other things here that uh, I'll use, but it doesn't have to necessarily be used in a planner. I had an idea last night while I was thinking about, well, how can I show how else I can use these? Two things that I'll, I, I won't take too long to show it because I got a lot of other stuff I want to do in the uh, altered books. But <clears throat> let's see if I can just dig out me a... Oh, and I did get these at Walmart, these little flags. I was looking, I'm out of the big paper clips, this size paper clip, you know, the bigger size. And uh, Walmart didn't have any. My staples closed down. I didn't have time to go to Target. But anyway, so they had these, and so they're kind of cute, um, just little paper flags. And they come in this little tray. I think they were like a dollar something. They're two dollars. And uh, so I really liked them. It was like six, let's see, there's six six, seven, it's 21 of them, I think, and so I thought these were real cute for your, um, you know, flags, so I got some of those, <clears throat> but let me see, let me get my tape out here, my little ruler, I sent, I feel so bad, I sent <coughs> one of these to Wee Hootie and one to Paula, hang on, and they both broke, they arrived broken. <clears throat> All right, let me get some on um, here. It stays on here. Okay. So here's what I was thinking. Oh, I need a, I also need a, what do you call it? A little, uh, where is it? Block. Little block. <clears throat> This is what I was thinking of for at least two of them, the phone and the heart. So I'm just going to do a small one here. And, I'm, and of course, if I did this, I would do it in pencil where you couldn't see the pencil. Um, the little tray is worth whatever. The little tray. I'm not sure. You mean the washi? Oh, this. Oh, yeah, the little, uh, yeah, the little holder. I know, right? So here's what I was thinking, and I would do it probably, let's see, do I have room on here? Let me just get another piece of paper, for goodness sake. That's my notes. <laughs> Let me just tear one out of my notebook here. I'm always uh, saying, where's a piece of paper? And I have like 10 notebooks in here with paper in it. Oh, great, I pulled out my own thing. Hang on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So here's what I was thinking, like here's a, for a heart, again, I would draw it in pencil, but you could take the little heart and you could do it in red. I'm just going to do it in black just for demo purposes. Put the little heart on there. Okay. And I've already uh, put eraser to the back of them to make them uh, not slick. And you could do the whole heart, fill in a heart with hearts. Again, you could do it with red, purple. You could do it any green, you know. <clears throat> and I don't have anything behind here, so it's not stamping as neatly as I 
would like it to because I'm not on my my uh, mat which I should be Let me get my <laughs> my foamy um, rubber stampede foam mat here here we go the cushion mat and you you know you do it neater and you take your time but I'm thinking that that would be a really cute little heart thing and just continuously fill it up with little hearts see where I'm going with that I don't need to finish it right <laughs> and this is going to go down rabbit trail but I'm wondering what tripod I don't use a tripod for my camera here I have my camera is attached to one of those gorilla arm type now this is a bigger one but it's like this but smaller one of these this one's kind of good um, if I was gonna do and I, I I forgot what I even called this guy what did I name him I had a name for him um, anyway so this is a nice for like close up um, you can you know set your you get your camera on here and it has little adjustments like here trippy trippy the tripod this is trippy the tripod because when I use trippy the tripod I'm always knocking them over <laughs> so um, the, here's the problem with the tripod for I think it was who was asking anyway Mel um, the, here's the problem with using a tripod it's very hard to film and not see the legs um, I, ha I have you know I've got I got a tripod I got a big tripod here that's a tripod when you're filming though especially a big tripod even if you um, you know put the legs down a little rabbit trail as Mel said even if you have the legs down and you have it so it balances right so you have your tripod and you got your camera you, you see the legs like that see it's real hard not to see the legs when you stream on a tripod now so what I did is I have one of something like this a smaller one one of the little ball joint ones like this and I have my camera attached to it and it's like this here let me get I have a yardstick <laughs> like this and I have my camera on a smaller version of this then I have the legs wrapped around the tripod and the camera is pointing down so right here above me is the camera attached like this and the other end of this the yardstick is shoved in some books <clears throat> that's how I film <laughs> I've shown pictures of it before so there I hope that helped uh, the other thing you can also do if you're filming with your phone is you can take a selfie here. <clears throat> take your selfie stick and put your phone in it. Kind of the same thing. And then, you know, you can you can film, you can do like this where you see it and stick your sel selfie stick in a shelf. Stick your selfie sh stick in a shelf and then you can see what you're filming. So there's that option if you're using your phone. <clears throat> Did that help? Okay. So let me get a baby wipe to clean that off. I was showing pictures before I hit record. We we're talking about when my daughter comes up and we want to do a cleaning in my room. And I was showing, here, let me hit right light again. Hang on. And I'll show you my, uh, hang on. So here's my desk. This is where I sit. I'm sitting right here. Here's my computer right here. There's another table right here. You can't see it, but right up here is the my yardstick, and it's shoved in there. It's weighted down with paper and, and other things, books and all. And then the yardstick sticks out over my table, and my camera's just facing down right there. And while I have this out, let me go ahead and show you something mom did. Mom did this color book page out of the chalk book. The chalk color book where the background's already black. 
So she sent me this one. So I wanted to show, show off mom's color book page. Isn't that awesome? So yeah. That black chalk background. Now she didn't use chalk, but it's just called chalkboard. And um, the background's already black. So yeah. So thanks mom for sharing with the girls. Speaking of mom, I'm supposed to get a package from her today. <laughs> Maybe I'll get my UPS package while we're streaming. I don't think mom cares if I... She, <laughs> Hey, Jean. I know. Isn't it lo lovely? I know. I don't think mom cares if I open my birthday present on on, uh, on stream. Okay, that's already dried, so that's fine. Stays on is stays on. <laughs> it's really... And I don't ever really care if my stamps are not clean. It's, it stays on is probably the worst. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I don't clean, I'm not much on cleaning my stamps very much and that's bad, but it's, it is what it is. Okay. So the other one I wanted to show you was the phone. Let me get the phone one off here. And this was the other idea that I was going to show you. Just showing you, you don't have to use your, um, you don't have to use your stamps for plan, planner stamps for planner. Hey, everybody else popping in. Okay, so the other thing, let me get a pencil so that you can see. Here we go. So the other thing I just thought about was, let me look at the picture here, was doing a little phone. And again, I would draw this in pencil so you wouldn't see it because you'd want to do the shape of the phone also. Okay, so you have a little phone, okay, <laughs> like this, and you take your phone stamp, sliding around because, hang on, that side's damp from the baby wipe. Let's go to the other end. Maybe, nope. <laughs> I got, hang on, I got to dry my little thing off here. I got it wet, and now my little stamp doesn't want to stick. Okay. Okay. So like for the numbers. See where I'm going with this? So you would do the whole phone with the shape of the stamp. And you could do this with any of your, any of these little mini planner. See, isn't that cute? You can decide where you wanted the shape to go. See? Isn't that cute? <laughs> so, you know, just keep going, you know. So you can use use your little stamps like like as the pattern. So instead of a planner stamp, it's a pattern stamp. <laughs> okay, so let's put this back on here so I don't lose these. And they're easy to get lost. I have my little um, sock monkey around here somewhere floating around. So anyway, I thought this was a cute little set. Coffee cup, same, same thing. You could draw your, um, you could draw your uh, coffee cup, you know, with the sleeve. Draw it with the sleeve on it and then do all coffee cups, you know? <clears throat> I think mom's messaging me. Mom says I can open my present. It's my... Oh, okay. So she's got two presents coming for me. The one that's going to be here today is from Ken. 
Oh, I'm excited. I'll tell you, know, the last time Kim sent me a present, y'all know what it was, right? I've shown it before. So anyway, there's the idea for that. Okay, let me go. Well, I should probably keep this because somebody's going to say, let me see how you did that again. So I'll stick it up there with my sample stuff for now. Okay, so I got that, this set for 50% off. All right, let me show you real quick what Ken sent me a while back. Ken does, and I don't know if I have them on the iPad or if they're just on the iPhone. Ken does awesome uh, plastic canvas, and he does whole villages. He, he does all kinds of, I'm seeing if I have them on my iPad, if they're just on the phone. I don't remember. I know I've shown them to y'all before. I'm flipping through here, seeing if I can find a picture but he does awesome awesome plastic canvas i mean whole whole villages well he did this one let me go let me go grab it Hang on. and i loved his little western village it had the whole town and everything ouch that's why I don't leave the books on the floor. Ouch. <laughs> Just kicked a book. Um, get this out of the way. <clears throat> I love this element out of the little village he made out of the western town. So I asked him if he'd make me one. So he did. He made me a little outhouse. <laughs> so let me get the right light again. Uh, <laughs> he made the little a little outhouse this is all cross canvas cross stitch <laughs> stitched canvas <laughs> and I've shown this before I thought this was the cutest little thing so it has the little oh wait there's Patrick wait <laughs> we put Patrick in there um, look it's got the little toilet seat in there and I made this I made the little roll of toilet paper on a toothpick it's a toothpick and a oh hang on guys it's kind of flashing out let me let me fix the light again <laughs> there we go and so yeah it's got the little toilet seat in there isn't that just so cute so I made the little toilet paper roll to sit in there and um, one of the kids put Patrick in there. <laughs> so we put Patrick in. <laughs> Don't fall in, Patrick. Don't fall in. But anyway, so Ken makes these. Mom's husband, Ken. <laughs> I know, right, guys? Isn't he cute? I know. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm hoping maybe Ken made something else. Like it was like that, cause they're just so clever. I just love his uh, his imagination. So yeah. <laughs> okay. So what else was I gonna show? Now I got a runny nose, runny eyes <laughs> from laughing. <laughs> okay. The, um, let's see what else did I have for show and tell? Oh. So the other thing, let me move my ruler over here. We know how easily they break. Um, <clears throat> I think that's all as far as purchases that I have to show you. So in our, our um, syllables journal, <clears throat> where I, we do 52 weeks of um, I plan or page, for lack of a better word, <laughs> um, what I, I found what I'm doing is I'm just writing down the any major thing because uh, I don't write down how many glasses of water. I don't write down my menus. I don't write down what I eat. Um, I don't write down when I go to Hobby Lobby and what I bought. I don't write when I go to the bookstore what I bought. I don't write down what I bought on Amazon. I just don't do that stuff. It's way too, it's stressful for me. It's very, I just do not enjoy that type of keeping track of myself so closely. I just don't do it. I can't do it. I tried to do it. That being said, I can write down a couple of things, you know, here and there. You know, if I go to the kid's birthday party, if we go to, you know, an event or, you know, if Hubster takes me to the varsity, uh, stuff like that, I will write that stuff down. 
that's why I only made one little thing a week. You can make as you can make your little squares as big as you want, as small as you want. So I'm going to show you the new one for this week that I made. Let's get over to see like here's my first January. I haven't filled these in. I really did not do anything. I stream. So I should just write stream, stream, stream <laughs> on mine. Um, again, let me fix the light again because now we're that's too bright. Let's get it. All right, now now I got it too dark. All right, doesn't like white paper. There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, say, see, G's the same way. She she likes to jot down notes to for family to read after she dies. <laughs> oh my gosh, G. <laughs> uh, I figured this is enough. <laughs> remember me they can just look at this that being said I want to get over to the new page I, all right here's last week's here's last week's where we just used a bunch I pulled out a handful of um, faux ephemera I just pulled a handful out of my bin my box of, of, of ephemera and used whatever fell on the table and this is what we made this was January uh, 8th through the 14th so here's the one I did for the 15th through the 21st and I like this one okay so here's my little stack of the week the notes for the week okay so I just put January here and I'm going to stamp the or put uh, 15 through 21 right in here right and this is some of that new scrapbook paper I bought and I just tore off little bits tore some off I curled and crinkled the edges I sandpapered the edges to make it look very distressed and then I just used the little the little butterflies and I cut them up one for and I made these little flags they are all different sizes longer shorter and I stamped the date on there and now I can write on the back so anything I did this week I can write on the back stream day you know the major things and then I just have a little paper clip and rather than paper clipping it at the top I just pay I left this uh, open like that like a little pocket there and then I just paper clip that on there like that and then you can kind of you know you can flag them out or fan them out like this so this was for this week again there's really not a lot to you know I don't need to do a demo on this you can see I cut those letters I did the January there's the little butterflies I just used a piece of um, printer paper to make the little flags glue the little butterflies on and there you go that was for this week so it doesn't have to be too complicated it can be simple and then again remember the reason I like the white page and you also have this side too if you want to um, if you want to journal more you can do your lines you can draw your lines you can stamp your lines like little journaling blocks so this page can be more journaling page to go with this see so and I don't care that this sticks out I remember I made a slit to, to glue to stick in some of these right here um, I don't care if that's there. If I wanted to journal something, I would just write some lines. I'm not much on the lines. I can just write without the lines, but it looks kind of cool to have the lines um, if, in a journal, you know, little journaling squares and stuff, or make a square. You can make, you know, if you want, if you did more than what you can write on these little flags, just over here, make you some journaling squares and go to town with your journaling. So you have this side too, or if you didn't want 52 uh, individual pages, you could just do like week one, week two, you know, week three, week four. So you could just use them back to back. Then you'll only have, you know, 20, whatever, 24 pages or 21, well, you know, 22 instead of 50, 52. <laughs> Uh, so anyway um, yeah here was my new year page and see if you do special pages if, like this was New Year's I did a Christmas one and I used the um, I used um, color book pages 
and cut the color book pages out for a Christmas page. This, that, um, the mask page. This was a cutout face here from Bennett Klein's daughter, May Klein. And then this was just a mask out of uh, a flow, or no, this was out of uh, a Daphne's diary. And then I put a little feather thing on there and just put that right over her face. So use your imagination. Hey, Jean. 26. Thank you, Jean. I couldn't, I couldn't divide a year and a half right off the top of my head. And uh, so, yeah, so there. this is for um, this week. So I just want to update you. I'm not going to do the page. I just wanted you to see the page. So, <clears throat> but it's already getting quite thick here. But I do have some of my, um, the reason it's a little thicker, this much of the book, this much of it is uh, Society of Idea Collector stuff, like my color mind mapping, that's in here. So that's quite a bit of, um, adds a little bit of thickness. I think I'm going to have to move my Society stuff out of here and just have it just my syllables year. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, so there's my syllables journal for the week okay so let's see what else i am behind on doing anything out of um the scavenger hunt <laughs> just saying just saying let's be honest okay so now i'm gonna get to work on if you're watching this and you were expecting, because I'll have it in the title, uh, Altered Books, just, you know, fast forward to 30 minutes. It's easy to just to slide that little bar at the bottom of your YouTube. Uh, but anyway, so I am working in three abandoned books. Uh, the girls have found another one. I think it's abandoned uh, carnivals or abandoned something like that. And I do have it in my cart or in my save for later in uh, Amazon. But I, I know I'm, I'm working on three already. I think I got to stop because there are more abandoned places books. And they're so cool. I love them all. But, you know, I really want to finish these someday, you know. So I'm going to do a real quick flip through these real quick just so y'all can see what I've done. And I do not work consecutively and I will skip from page to page. Abandoned amusement parks. That's what I know. It looks awesome, Terry. I have it in my save for later, but uh, I, I I really need to work on what I got, right? Everybody said, use what you got. I got to work on what I got. So, um, so I'll work a little here and there. Over the weekend, I did work in this one more. Uh, this is the larger one that Eileen sent me, this one, Forgotten Heritage. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of flip real quick, guys. <coughs> and you can see, like, this one's done. If, if the one's finished, I'll tell you. This one's finished. These are some, like, broken down satellite dishes. And so, and then this is all paint. Hey, T, I need it, yeah. <laughs> And again, I started painting here. And what I'll do eventually is all the pages will be blacked out. Um, it doesn't have to be black. It can be any color, you know. But I, I, these kind of lend itself to dark. Uh, here's one that's, I, I would say, almost done. <clears throat> See, I painted in the space and the everything there. Again, all I did on this one was wisp out some wind. <laughs> Wispy wind. This one I, I worked on on stream. I don't like it's too much here, so i got to fix some of that. Uh, I hope you all can see, okay, it's not too flashed out, is it, I hope. Uh, this one just had a broken down chandelier, so I put like little wispy little flames, and I put this down here. They're, they're kind of, a lot of people think they're creepy, but... You know, and I had one girl, sh I showed in one page and she goes, oh, we're, you know, it's alien. Well, just because it's outer space and I don't, she didn't mean anything by it. I'm just saying just because something's outer space doesn't mean it's alien. Okay. <laughs> so I did this right here. Um, it does. Sometimes it doesn't take a lot. And then sometimes I'll do a full on. <laughs> These were some tankers. Now this one is kind of alien Azure. <laughs> I turned these tankers 
uh, painted out the bottoms of the tankers, so just the tops of the tankers do look like crashed UFOs, okay? <laughs> just saying, this one does kind of look like that. <laughs> so you got me on this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but these were oil tankers. The Mount Fuji wasn't there. None of this was here. Just some tankers on a field. And I painted out all the bottoms of the tankers and turned them into crashed UFOs. <laughs> okay. Here's just a piece. See, I've got kind of things just half glued in. Uh, like this, see? Calendar page that this I thought went with this. So, this one has a lot of stuff just tacked in. This one's done. This was the first page I did in this book. Oh, thanks, Jean. <laughs> I need to design for George Lucas. Oh, trust me. And Hobster just got done reading um, George Lucas's biography. He just finished that. Um, this is a uh, stained glass window, a Tiffany stained glass. Either it was a window or a lamp. I don't remember. And then all this is painted. That's some more stained glass. A watch. I love putting elements of time in my pieces. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> Again, here's some things that are just tacked in. I have to glue them in and incorporate them into the pages. See? And so I, here's one day I showed how you uh, incorporate a piece of collage. See, I use paint to show how I will eventually connect them. Uh, thanks, CBC. Again, you know, this is all, I painted these little squares out and then made a little checkerboard going up the wall. More bits that are just tacked in. But look how this just goes. Look at that. You can't just, that, that just, that's serendipity right there. <laughs> and this one I think we worked on the last time, maybe. It's not done. But it's, you know, I'm working on that one. Do I ever get artist block? Um, I don't call it artist block. I, it's not, and I, I have a couple of different d definitions for what that means. Um, if you know how to draw, if you have trained yourself how to draw, you don't forget how to draw unless you just go 30 years or something without ever drawing then you probably need to you know get your hand moving get that eye hand coordination you know reestablished but if you draw on a regular basis and you know how to draw what you see you don't forget how to do that I, you know i could sit here and say oh i got artist block but i could just pick this up and i could draw it okay so do you call that artist block i could draw this anytime you know, I could pick up my, I could set up a little, little thing here, like, you know, whatever, a little vignette, and I could draw this. So it's not like I can't draw. I think a lot of people associate artist block with, I just can't draw. When what they really mean is, I either I don't know what to draw, or my, I don't have the imagination, <laughs> you know. So I think there's different definitions different ways of saying what artist block is I, my motto is uh artist inspiration is in your butt if you sit down pick up a pencil most of your most of your art block will go away you just got to sit down and do something even if it's just um organizing something now Again, I'm going to qualify because I guess people forget that I don't mean it. If you have a disability, if you got the flu and you don't feel like drawing, that's to me not artist block. Okay, artist block is not when you got the flu and don't feel like drawing. You got the flu. <laughs> yeah, inspiration has to find you working. Yeah, I forgot who said that. Is that pa uh, Pablo Picasso? I forget. Um, so here again, we started uh, here a little bit of play on this one um, and so what I usually do is just pick up even just get you an a, a book to alter it doesn't have to be abandoned abandoned things and I always stress that every time I show my abandoned books I like this look I like this mech 
uh, spacey kind of thing I can turn into cool you know stuff like that but if you don't like that look then do something find you a book to alter like gardens or fashion uh, I don't really recommend doing a whole altered book in a magazine I do have altered magazines but it's not going to hold up like a book just saying it's not going to hold up like a book yeah uh, now are you having a problem? Let's just say you have an assignment for school. You have an assignment for work to come up with an ad campaign. That's That can be a little more work. Okay? But you wouldn't have got hired to do it if they didn't think you could. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you know. Uh, hey, Wee Hootie. So this one of the three books probably has the least in it because it's the newest. We did this one. Um, we called this, what did we call this? The Mist Code. Um, all these are, these are all glued down letters. And then these are handwritten in letters. Some of them, oh, stamped. We got stamped ones and we got little words and floating around there. The Mist Code, we named this last time I put it in there. I, I don't, oh, Terry, Terry Trouble named it, The Mist Code. I try to put who says the names if I, if, when we're streaming. And uh, so this one probably has the least amount of completed pictures because it's the newest of the three. And so here you see I got all kinds of things ready to glue down, incorporate into it. But these kind of books like this, guys, I know I do a lot of it because I love them. But I do a lot of them for you guys on stream. There may be, I might not have any real idea what I want to do with this, but I start painting. I pick up the paint, I pick up the brush, I start doing it. And something, you know, it usually comes to you. If not, then just turn the page and start on another one. <laughs> just don't get all worked up about it. You know, I think sometimes we, oh, no, see, right now I want to, I want to miss this one real quick. We get, we get too, um, we get too uh, scared. That's, we get too scared that we're going to mess up or, or whatever. Um, okay, so let's see what I want to do here. And I just want to just play a minute because this staircase is calling to me here. light and lights in the ceiling yeah it's got a, a light a skylight yeah maybe I'll have a little bit of but just I just like to play and whether it turns out to be exactly what's in my head that's you know sometimes that's really hard to do because for one thing to do what you have put in your head or in imagine in your head you have to have the skill set to do that um, you can imagine that you're drawing a um, that you're drawing a Rembrandt you can imagine that in your head but do you have the skill and the practice put in to be able to do that there are a lot of ideas I have in in these altered kind of things that if I knew how to do digi, I could literally make them come to life. I don't have the skill set in digital to do that, right? I could take the time to learn it, but that's time away from everything else I do. So, again, it, it's got to be your priorities is what do you want to learn? Do you want to learn painting? Do you want to learn drawing? Do you want to learn paper crafty, whatever it is you want to learn. Um, it all takes time, right? It all takes time. And, you know, I've been at the art game all my life, you know, and 
and you never stop learning. You always are learning. I've been looking for a book to alter for several months. Finally found one I wanted to work. Animals in North America. There you go. See? You you know, if you like animals. I love, I love uh, doing animal portraits. I, I've not ever altered an, an animal book. You know, again, these things take time, guys. I got three books here I'll probably work on for years. Years. Okay, so I'm going to stop on this one now. Um, I think I'm going to have right in here, though. Let me see. Let's make sure that's dry. I'm gonna have a... Okay, so I'm going to stop on this one. Oh, thanks, Mermaid Jan. This one, see, we stopped one day. I was flipping through, and we just stopped and did this. That's a little piece of collage right here. It's not even glued down yet. Um, but I'm going to incorporate that in there. And I would not normally, I would not, like, put this on here without this being blended in and all. But we probably did a demo for something. And so I just, you know, went ahead and did it. Um, again, here is a, a castle, and this is some from a Japanese calendar, some tidal waves here. And when I glue these down, look, I'm going to incorporate that wave going right up to that castle. And this will all be painted in. Okay, so I'm just doing a little, a little flip for you. I love this kind of stuff. I love arches, doorways, windows portals i love this right here this will be one of probably one of my favorite pages when i'm done and i'll connect it to this this will all be painted out i'll paint the black and the green and the gray and the rocks and i'll and i'll make this one page <clears throat> see that's what people it, here's the thing about collage and, and this kind of thing this one doesn't have these don't have as much collage in them as some of them do um you will see, sometimes I title them, sometimes not. Sometimes you guys title them. You will see in an abstract, surrealistic type, like go look at uh, Dolly, for instance. I love Dolly. Uh, if you look at Dolly, if I, I would see something totally different than you. Somebody else will see a third thing. Somebody, it, What you see in those kind of art works, and it's true of really any artwork, a portrait, anything. You're going to see in that painting, in that artwork, what is in you. You're going to see what's in you. You will filter it, interpret it, put a name to it, put a, a idea behind it, what is in you. So you may think, like uh, Azure was saying, oh, look, aliens. And I'm not, I'm not picking on you, Azure. I'm just using you as an example. <laughs> That, does, that doesn't mean necessarily mean it has anything to do with aliens. Now, that one with the crashed UFOs, yeah, that one did. But, <laughs> but again, that doesn't necessarily um, mean what it is. That's what you see in it. Honey Jill, this book is The Forgotten Heritage. And I'm almost done flipping through this one. Again, this one will have light beams coming in. Same thing for this. This will be a nice with light beams. This will be a nice one to have. Um, let's take a moment. I'm just playing today in these. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, she know. I think she knows better. <laughs> Uh, she just mentioned it. That's why I'm using her as an example. Just like I usually use you, Jean. I usually use you as, you as an example, Sassy. And how are you feeling, by the way? I hope you're feeling better. So 
So we'll have a little reflection there. <clears throat> so, you know, there's a little start right there. You're back to, to usual good. Your ornery self, Jean. Let me hit this with the heat gun because if I close it now uh, with wet paint, it'll stick. You can't eat raw carrots. Oh my gosh. Denise, is, I'm going to tell on her. She, was, she called me from work or on our way home from work, let me just find the message. I don't know if it, I'll try to get it to light lock in. So anyway, she called me from work and she said, I ate some raw carrots and I feel like they're, I feel like my throat is bleeding. I feel like I scratched my throat. She was coughing. And so when she got home, I posted this, I posted this little, look, it's a little hamster eating a carrot. So I posted that to her, just kind of trying to make her smile. So here you go, Jean. This one's for you, too. But then what she posted back to me. <laughs> she posted this back to me, Jean. laughing in chat there's a 30 second delay so i'm laughing 30 seconds ahead of you guys <laughs> you like that gene yeah uh, she posted lucy gagging on a carrot so I'm just flipping through to show you the book and what's in it. Here, again, I haven't got these guys, um, these uh, statues glued down yet, but I put a little connection between them. All right, so here's an example of if I did Digi. These, it would all be painted in and everything, but there would be like lightning, like light, moving light right here. That's what I would have if I did Digi. <laughs> and then maybe the sound effects, too. <laughs> oh, and here's a bunch of, um, here's a bunch of, um, oh, my gosh. Uh, you know, <laughs> gosh, my, I got too many things in my head. I got too many things in my head right now. Um, uh, <laughs> hang on. Fractals, <laughs> some fractals, <laughs> and this is all right here. This is all. This is just the page. This, this is nothing altered on here yet. And then I added these fractals. But look how they go. Look how they go. Yes, I've been watching that Tesla show. It's good, isn't it? I know. All right, a couple things though. Let's just go, let's talk about the Tesla show. If you're not watching the little thing about was Tesla, how what what happened in Tesla? Was he murdered? And the, 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 the young, well, they're mostly young. There's a couple of a little older ones. But anyway, uh, trying to do research. One thing, the Tesla death ray, wasn't he just imagining a laser? Was it in, in 1920 or 1909 to 19 through the World War II? Wasn't he just imagining a laser when it was the death ray? That's what I'm thinking. The other thing is he got to go overseas and, and they, he, they got access to this museum that's never been in. I don't know. That's a little, you know, a little. It, to me, that wasn't like accidental, you know. Oh, we just got access, you know. Um, yeah, I think he's just imagining a laser. You like the sound effects? <laughs> Oh, no, that's okay. I'm really enjoying the show, though. I love any kind of show like that. The Hunting Hitler, the Tesla. Of course, y'all know I love me some Oak Island. Um, 
you know, all those shows. I love history. I love history. I got nine history books coming to me for my birthday. Uh, you know, they should be here this week. Um, yeah, yeah. But I still, even, even if some of the stuff is rearranged, put on, whatever, it's still the idea of the history. It's still the idea of researching and looking into it whether they did it perfectly whether you like the way they did it whether and it has to be a show that's also entertaining we have to just admit you got to have that no one you know it's it's a lot harder for people to go watch a documentary you know yeah yeah that's what's called tesla's murder declassified is that the total is that the name of the show terry yeah um, yeah, prearranged. Yeah, uh huh. And but I still, you know, I still love the 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 idea of what's really going on. Do they have it right? Do they have it wrong? Are you going to go look it up, try, try to figure it out, or are you just going to take their word for it? You know, I love, but I do love all the shows. All right, here's another piece of fractal. But look, look how it goes with that page. See, look, look at that. Look, <laughs> it just, I mean, I just want to sit here and pet this. Just want to pet this. But I always liked history. I've always loved history, reading it, studying it, medieval history, Renaissance, those time periods. Um, ancient history, way, I mean, ancient, ancient history. I love that. So I would have to say ancient history, medieval, and Renaissance. Hubster likes more modern history, like, you know, the history of America, the Civil War. Um, you know, he reads more more recent history. I like going way back. <laughs> you don't like to read history, but you like history on TV. <laughs> oh, Terry. Another piece of fractal here that I thought went well with this, with the greenery. I'm just flipping here for a minute, guys. Again, more piece, <coughs> more pieces of fractal over the top of all this machinery. See, I gotta have some juice here. Again, this book here, this is the one Eileen sent me, and it has less finished. This alien, that was somebody painted that on a wall. This is gonna be a fun one to work with, and this Azure will really be an alien. <laughs> Azure, this one will really be an alien. <laughs> I'm teasing her. You got to be able to tease y'all, you know. Okay, so I started painting in a staircase here. There wasn't one. No, I'm putting one in. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, a lot of fun stuff to work with in this book. And all these books. And there's so many pages. And, you know, these books, you, you get them on clearance. They're in my books a million. They're stacked out. Um, you know, and I tell people, well, if you don't buy them, what's going to happen to those books? Landfill. <laughs> so I never feel bad. Now, I would never take, you know, a 15th century book and do any, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Don't, don't email me, people. I would never do that. But there's, you know, here's some more bits for me to work with, some more. Um, you know, look at that. Look at that. Look work right there. Look at that. See how that works? You can't just, that just, that happens. <laughs> See? Look at that. That right there. I got to tack that down. Even though I will have to cut this off. <clears throat> Let's cut that off right there. And just get my glue stick. I just want to, you know, I'm not going to glue it down yet because it all has to be matte mediumed down. But look at that right there, people. Look how that just matches up. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> and he's a spaceship. Oh, my God, a little needs to move over right there. Isn't that cool? And see how it matches color-wise with this? 
so much imagination right just right there so yeah this is a little inspiration flipping through these books I know I've flipped through them before if you've seen all these just you know again here we go let me get my white paint here it's two little people standing right there them in a little pool of light there uh, uh, uh. okay Hey Rachel, I gotta dry this so I don't stick my pages together. But you can alter anything. Here's another one where we put the light beams coming in over this little guy looking up. See how he's looking up? But we added this. I say we because we did it here on camera, you know. Anything we do here together is we. <laughs> on Sunday nights uh, Bups Kim Sunday nights at 10 um, they're already into part I think there's only two parts left but you know what they do right when the last one or two parts are getting ready to finish they show it like a little mini marathon of all of them so be watching for when they show all the parts leading up to the last two I think there's two episodes left oh thanks Rachel love So that's the, pretty much the end of this book. And then I got, you know, some collage bits in here just waiting to be used in this book. So that one is The Forgotten Heritage, Matthew Emmett, John Glee's Publishing. So you can find them all on Amazon. Trust me. <laughs> okay, the next one is Abandoned Places. And I think Connie sent me this. I think I have two of them. I bought one and Connie sent me one. So I have one that I cut up. I'm pretty sure it was Connie that sent me this one. And then, so I have one that I cut up and one that I alter. Okay. This one has a lot more in it done. So you're going to see more artwork done in this one. And more full, more uh, further along pages. Like this one set. And here's an, and also, I do plan on eventually varnishing all the pages. So this one's been varnished. See, it's got gloss varnish on it. So again, this was just a city street. Painted out this into and put out a, a prism here. And this is all paint and the stars and all this is all painted. And then I did finish it, so I varnished it. Now, you don't varnish till you know you're done because you can't paint over the varnish. It won't. I guess you could, but, you know, you're going to be fighting against the slickness. Um, you're confused. Um, uh, yeah, Canada, a lot of times um, Canada and UK have different, they'll show it at different times. Yeah. 
they'll they they will show the episodes re-show them during the week so if you're looking for the when they're shown like on your your particular cable channel whatever I see them all during the week. I might see one repeated on a Thursday, one on a Friday night, one on a Tuesday morning. But the new ones are Sunday nights at 10. Hey, Coach Marie. This one had four pictures. So I've got to work. I'm going to divide it with space. Um, and I'm going to make above ground and underground. Here's one I started, and and I have more of these kind of blacked out and uh, color. See, look, here's one example. It doesn't have to be black in the background. It can be, you can paint out whatever you color you want. So here's one where I use teal and sienna, and I usually base it on some color in the piece, right? And then I add, this is all water dripping here. That's all painted in. This one's I started graying in the side. So I'm hoping y'all get some ideas here. This one's not done. You can see I still haven't painted in. This is just torn bits of something. I don't even know what. Uh, and I'm making it into like a little uh, landscape here. And then this is all paint. That's all paint. This is some marbles out of a marble book. Hey, Paula. Um, that's out of a marble book. This is just sitting here waiting for me to do something with this. This one's, I'm, I'd say it's pretty much done. Although I could do a little bit more something down here. But here is my um, meteorite going through a planet right there. And all the space up there. And this is an old ghost town. This one's got the wind <clears throat> going through it, and then the reflections here. I painted in clouds and birds so that it's really the reflection that's the world, not this one. This is the real, this is the real world. Some painted out. I'm just flipping through all my altered books. This is the second one. Thank you, Connie. Again, this is another one that had four separate pictures. And I'm trying to make them all one world. Above ground and underground. So I have to really work. These, these are the trickier ones. They're, it's a little trickier to incorporate four separate pictures into one big cohesive world. Thank you, Terry. Here's some... Uh, this is some... Uh, collage bit there this is a um a moon or a planet cut out of a planet book and uh yeah this one's in progress i have little worlds there this this had text on it i painted out the text and you know got you know you can see there's just so much to to do. I just got this little marble glued on there. Um, this is all paint. This is some collage. She's cut out of a magazine. And I say this all the time. I don't put people in my pieces very often because I feel like you are the person. The viewer are the person in the piece. So she's looking back at you, but I don't put people in my in very often. Um, I will occasionally because people ask me to, especially my artist trading cards and stuff. You know, they like the people in them. But for the most part, I don't put people in my work because I like you to be the person uh, in it. This one's done. And there's videos. When I say they're done like this, there's a video for it. There's a, there's a process video for this. So, yeah. All this is paint, paint, paint. All that's paint. Uh, this one, there is no process video for this one. I did this one on a morning when I just felt like doing this. So I, there's no process video for this one, but I do have lots of videos in the other ones showing how I do the mist. And, uh, yeah. 
And I love the little newel post here with the little holograms, little hologram uh, planets and stars floating around the post right there. Nothing really done on this one. This one I have tagged for something. I don't know what. I don't remember. <clears throat> It opens your imagination. Yes. Yes. Just get out some paint and start painting things out. And again, it doesn't have to be an abandoned place book. Because not everybody likes this sort of thing. Um, but if, like um, if someone just said that they're going to get, an, they have an animal book, you know, a garden book with lots of hedgerows and, and um, arbors. And, you know, that can be whole little worlds, too. So let's just say you have an arbor with, you know, roses all around it. And way back under that arbor, you see a little cottage. You can make a whole world out of that. This one's done. Um, we we uh, glued Big Ben on here. And then, uh, and all that, you know, some collage bits. And then, yeah. And then this. This is like a, a sky, like a sky, I don't want to say sky train, but. <laughs> and this one's done, and there is a video on this one. Again, you don't, you don't, you can use collage. You know, this is mixed media. So, you just got the roller coaster book? Yeah, Connie. Is that the, uh, it's not, is it called the roller coaster or is it called Abandoned? What was it, Terry? Abandoned? I forgot what the name of it was. I have that, I have it saved in my Amazon. But I, I, I'm not in any hurry to get another abandoned book because I want to work on these. I want to finish these. Eventually, they'll all get finished. Bye, G. Thanks for popping in. Abandoned amusement parks, yeah. This one's done. Again, this face was glued in. Um, I think these little guys were already here. Um, this is some uh, fractal bits here. Painted in all this, dropping down here. Um, painted in these flowers. I think one there was one flower and I painted the other two. A little space over here. Reflected pool thing here. This is just, a, I just stuck that in there because I thought it went with this. This one I'm working on up here. Um, it needs more. And then I put some stars in the windows here so you can, this is, see, it's like floating in space. And you can see through the abandonedness of it. It needs more stars and stuff over here. This one's just not done yet. This one's done. I think someone requested this one. That's why I have that on there. This one, I did this one as a demo on the show one day, so it's not, it's more demo than done. But uh, how to do water, a uh, crashing water. Um, this one's done. This one was very simple. This was all here. The, even the little watch, the clock, was already on the building. And the sand has creeped over this. I don't know the story. The only thing I did was the sky, the planet, and the uh, uh, hands of time. This, was, this down here was all here. Okay, there's a video for this one. <clears throat> Here's a piece just stuck on there. 
again another flag that you know somebody requested this one or something this is stuck on here I'm gonna put that in my world it's not there I'm putting it in <laughs> Um, airplanes I want I want this one sitting on the shelf but this one I want to look like it's crashing through and I'll have space and things like I'll probably leave the map but I'll do I'll go around all this with black and have it look like the plane and this is just tacked down so I can readjust it and move it but I want this to look like it's crashing through again here's a little piece of something sitting over the desk there I'd like to have just the idea of you the person is sitting at this desk and this is what you're looking at right there <clears throat> so they're all in different stages different this one's done this one does have a little person that was already there this little person was already in the thing in the picture and we painted in all these extras. There's a few stairs, and we painted in extra stairs. We glued in a planet. We glued in planets. Painted all the background here. And uh, painted this in. And the little guy was there. It just worked, you know? Um, I have this tacked down to put in the distance there. On the horizon, there's that big planet there. This one's done. Uh, all this is paint right here. The water was there, and these little, I don't know if they're oil tanker things out here, abandoned oil tankers, but all this is paint. The water right here was there, but all this is painted in, and the sky is all painted in. The planet, I glued in a planet, glued in a watch part, and it's like, like, the sky's opening up back there. The water's churning. This one's done. And I think it was Aaron. And I wish I would have done this because I think it was Aaron that said this would have been a good sandstorm one. Instead of water, to have this be sand. Like this castle is coming out of the sand, like a sand castle. That would have been really cool, but I didn't. She didn't say mention it till after I already did it. <laughs> so it was too late. <laughs> but that would have been cool. A sand castle instead of water. Have it sand. Okay. Which one are y'all talking about, Jeannie? Science is running it. The episode five to ten. Are y'all talking about the Tesla show? Yeah, you did kind of need to watch it in order. I mean, you know, because it's progressing through their search. Um, again, these are some planets there. Yeah. Yeah. This one, I just have that glued down. This was just a piece of, of sky, and I just cut it in a circle to make it look like a planet. Um, these aren't here. There's some other buildings back there, but I'm going to put mountains like that. Probably a little gate thing here. Probably a little gate thing right here, like, I'll just draw it in white, like this, like something like this. <clears throat> this one, I, I would really probably call this done. This is one of the, one of the earlier pages I did in here. And these little people were already here in this abandoned building, standing on the edge, looking over the building. And there was more building here. I blacked out all the buildings, and so now I have them looking down into space. 
I really like the, the theme of this one. I like that the little people are looking down. And then I hand drew all the planets. And then in the windows, I did that in there. But kept it plain up here. Like everything up here is, there's, that's none of that's going on. It's just in here. Again, here's a piece of something I want to glue in. A planet. I already glued that down. This reminds me. I, it might be the place where they filmed Star Wars. Luke's hometown. Um, so I'm just going to finish flipping through. Hope you all enjoying the little flip. We're going to go back over to the one I'm working on. This one I'm not, I don't I was trying to do a feather thing and I don't really like that but meh meh <laughs> this one's in progress this was a gas station with the post holding up you know the gas station was here well the, the all the gas you know pumps were gone and uh, so I whited out um, the post. And I put this clock here. It's not done. And I have this door floating. And this is floating. This reminds me of 2001. A Space Odyssey. This one's done. It's my tiger in the uh, train station. Um, it's got little fish coming over here. And all the lily pads here. That's all in. This is all paint this and he's glued in he obviously he was not in the train station or in the tunnel <laughs> and i just did a little light like that so it could be the train coming or the star you know. um, this one is partially done it's just an abandoned train and this is uh, i cut her out of a i don't know an angel or a cemetery or something book and then I painted in a moon up there. And uh, then the stars and space are inside that train thing I painted that in. And so, yeah, I like the I like the I this one where it's going. Uh, this one, I like, I have just painted in some mist here and a little deer will be glued in there. Um, painted out the sky. Painted a lot of this out. Pa pasted in a clock. And so that one, that's the end of Abandoned Places. And this one's Kieran Connolly. And this is the one that everybody bought when we started doing, you know, Abandoned, you know, Altered Abandoned Place. This is the book that everybody bought. And I have seen it back in stock in my Books A Million. <laughs> Okay, and then the one I'm working on now is this one, Abandoned America, <clears throat> The Age of Consequences, Matthew Christopher, and again, this one's more of a landscape uh, format, so I'm going to flip through it, and if I come to something I might want to work on, or I'll flip back and uh, work on it. Uh, I did work on this one this weekend. Um, Painted that. This is all paint. <clears throat> Let me prop this up so it's not, this window doesn't glare. Um, I started painting the, the background out. Another, another thing to look for when you get these kind of books to alter, find the ones with the least amount of text. If you find two garden books and one has a lot of text and one has... A, a le less text get the one with less text because otherwise you're painting out a lot of text not that you can't do that that's why i use a lot of black paint um here i painted this in here um painted all that out there and left this right here i like where this one's going but if you have a lot of text it takes time to do that just like our little mini magazine um journals same thing you know find your magazines that are heavy illustrated heavily photographed so that you can alter that 
so it's just fun to do these. Uh, this is what I was working on this morning before I hit record. Um, did this and the. I was working on this one. Um, I think I want to work on this one today. And uh, another thing I have a plan for, let me put a post-it note on here because I have a plan for this. We'll come back to this one next. We'll come back to this one in a minute. So you can see all the mist that I put in here going up the walls. See that? But I have plans for this, so we'll come back to this one in a minute. So you see, I've blacked out a lot of the text. But it does take some time. It takes some time to, you know... And you don't have to do it ahead of time. Sometimes I just feel like just blacking out the text. I'll just, you know, take an hour and, and do that. And then if I come across something I want to do, I'll stop and just play on that page. Okay, this is another one in progress. We've worked a little bit on this one on the show. And then this is all paint. Paint. And you can doodle. See, look, I got my Posca paint bins out and started doodling. Here's where I blacked this out here. This was a train station. or it, I think it used to have rails on there. I think they were gone. So I painted that in. It made it look like, you know, in Star Wars or when you go into warp drive. Whoosh, see? Yeah. There's warp drive. <laughs> and the stars all streak. This is another one that'll be, I, I can just love to see a waterfall right here. A waterfall, maybe I'll tag this one too. And we did this one on a stream, I think. This one there's a video for. This, um, we glued in, glued in leaves and tree trunks this is all glued in i think that yeah that one's glued in and that's glued in the marbles to make the plants and then this is all paint warp drive page that's right terry <laughs> and then this little balcony right here that would be a cute little rail or you know maybe something water i don't know There's just so many, you know, you can just play with so many. This one we did a little demo on, on the stream. But doesn't that make you want to get an altered book and play? And they all don't have to look so dead. You can put like that other one we put green trees in. You know, you can put out the, you can put the one we put the big owl head on. You can put flowers in here, you know. It, you can do a lot of things. This one, oh, I have a plan to put um, letters here, like kind of like we did that mist um, alphabet thing. That's kind of what I want to do here. So we have that plan. Here's another. I think this one we did a little bit of work on last stream. This is an inside of a building, but we painted out the ceiling except for this part right here. And this one we started playing with the sky up there. Again, this would be cool to have like a lily pond. This one, let me here, let me make some notes. This one would be a good to have a lily pond and koi fish in here. And then paint water ripples over the top so it looks like it's a koi, a real vibrant, lively koi pond with lots of plants in it and fish and then have all this like abandoned. See? That would be cool.
this one's done we did this one on a stream again some more stained glass tiffany stained glass um, There was this hand that was painted like a graffiti hand there so i put these lights coming out but i'm gonna extend this out like with pencil this will turn into space probably but i'm gonna want to do like this and make this all come out hey meg So yeah, just a little bit of a a little flip and we'll go back and do some pages here. Just whatever. There's that one I was working on. I'll go back to that one. The Koi Pond one would be a good one too to work on. And so you can just black out, white out, blue out, green out, you know, any color you want and just get rid of anything you just want out of there. So it's like a, you know... I don't want to say decomposition, but, <laughs> you know, kind of like the reverse collage like I did back. I Paula was back here when we did this one. This was my, well, I, it wasn't my first foray at it, but it was the first one that I showed up doing a whole book on. And it was this one, this big, tall one. I'll show it here in a minute. Somebody knows who's inside of that one. <laughs> Um, you can't say that hand page isn't alien looking. I don't know. It doesn't have to be an alien. <laughs> you girls. Oh, and here's another. Uh, we did this sample to show you that you can take a pen, paint pen. So all this red is a Posca paint pen. And... I left that one open so that you can see what was there. And then this is all painted in. So you can take um, take your paint pens in different colors and just doodle and play. Like, let's just say this ladder here. Let's do this whole section. So even if you don't know what to turn your world into or whatever, just take a paint pen and start doodling. Because the paint pen will go over the slickness of the the slickness of the page. Oh, and that's another thing I want to say. Um, if you want to use color pencil, you have to um, either clear gesso or have the paint underneath because your pencil will not go over the slick page. You got to have a base there. Paint, um, paint or gesso to for your color pencils because the color pencils will not attach to the slick page. Uh, I use matte medium, my golden matte medium, um, when I'm when I'm collaging things down. So if you want your if you want your pencil to stick, you got to have something to have it stick to. It will not write on this. Okay? Just saying. I can say that. <laughs> okay, so let me dry this now because I don't want the pages to stick together. So you can just doodle on a page. Um, do you ever use little metallic Poscas? I'm not, I haven't used them in this, uh, Zeely. We could do that. We could use the uh, Posca. Um, let's see. Let me get a purple, maybe. Purple one. I'll hold, I'll pull that out. We'll try to use it. You like mix? Coloring page elements with picture books. Yeah. 
Yeah, using your color book pages. But you know, if you're going to cut up your color book pages, you probably don't want it to be like, and you can do whatever you want, but like your Jasmine Beckett or your, I mean, I've cut up some Bennett Klein, well, May Klein, uh, and I have cut out a few Bennett Klein. For one thing, they're one-sided. You know, if you're going to use a color book page right out of the book, uh, without making a copy, then you're going to have to make sure it's not a double-sided page. Hey, BDI Beth. <laughs> because uh, otherwise you're cutting up the back side too, right? So I love Posca paint pens. Um, this, I think there was a lit, I think those were lights there, and I made them into stars. There were lamps there, whatever. See, like all this. So we're getting down to the end of this book. Again, this is all like concrete and a dug up floor. But what if you painted this into like a garden and put flowers growing up or vines or roses or poppies to match the red, you know, something like that. This one we did, I think this is the last one we videoed a full full page doing. We did this one for Christmas. Christmas ornaments. There's one that fell down and broke. There's little ornaments peeking around the corners. So this is all um, ornament page. Thanks, Terry. Oh, yeah. And if y'all missed the first, we did, this is the third book I've shown. The um, and, a, and I did show a couple other things at the beginning of the show. Some happy, not happy mail, but some washi tape and some other things. So if y'all weren't here at the beginning of the show, try to go watch the first, like, 30 minutes. So, yeah. Um, this one's in progress. It's all painted in, out here. You know, nebula, nebula cloud going by. Trying to connect the two pages there. So that's it. That is Abandoned America, The Age of Consequence. Now let's go back to the one I was working on, this one here. I'll go back to this one. And I don't know if I want to try to connect these, these right now. I might just kind of work on this a little bit because I have a plan for this. Let's zoom in. And let's try the right line. Oh, no, no, don't want that. Okay. I thought I saw something recently that there are new Posca paint pens. Um, I don't know, Beth. New ones? Like new in what way? New colors or new tips? New what? Hey, hey Zeely. I'm not sure new in what way. Do you know, BDI Beth? New in what way? Okay, so I was working on mist here, and what I plan on doing, I'm going to do brush lettering. I'm going to do brush lettering right in here. Bye, Jan. So one of my uh, Francis Bacon quotes, I'm going to put in here, in brush lettering, with one of my new Janet pens. Oh, wait, before I do that, let me, well, I'll show this big, I've already zoomed in and everything. This is one of my first uh, reverse collage books, but we'll see if we get to that today. Okay. So, let me go back to a little bit of white paint, and I want to finish doing some of the background here, and then I'm going to brush letter with my, uh, one of my Tombos that Janet sent me in here. Okay, so I'm just going to use the white paint, it's just going to be sitting right off here to the side. 
<clears throat> so if you have any questions, just put them in caps. I'm just working on doing some misting. Hey, Megan. Hey, Mac. Anybody else popping in? You found it. An email from Jet Pens. They have new nature inspired colors. Okay. Well, everybody, check out um, Jet Pens for new nature colors in the Poscas. I'm hoping that my UPS, uh, UPS can come at any time. My mail usually comes, you know, about 1130 to 1230, something like that. But Ken sent me an early birthday present. But it's coming UPS. So that could be any time. But if it comes while we're streaming, I will uh, open it on stream. So what's everybody else working on? Terry's file folders. I already asked you, Terry. <laughs> Is that, has Eileen popped in? I'm wondering if uh, what she and Janet are going to do today. Azure is playing with a logo and markers. Are you making aliens, Azure? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> CB's draw, drawing a PO. A portrait. Oh, okay. Yeah, CB, I love your girls. CB, I don't know if that's what you're working on. Megan's working on the scavenger hunt. Paint Girly is coloring in Florabunda. I covered the lines with Posca, but I'm having trouble getting my pencil to cover it. Um, make sure you, it's dry, right? Make sure your paint is dry. Kmore Karen is working on the scavenger hunt. May is relaxing, coloring a Linda Ravenscroft. Yeah, I need to do another Linda Ravenscroft. I, got, I think I got two of her books. I need to do that. Wednesday, we're probably going to color again. Um, I want to finish the uh, 
the Clara Markova page that we're working on. I'm going to finish that one on Wednesday. Maybe my society idea will have them pink aliens. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I don't know. The only thing I can think is of if you're trying to, let's just say you got some paint right here, but not like right there. It has, it won't, pencil will not go over these slick, slick magazine, I mean slick pages. So I don't know. Rachel Love is coloring in the wild. Oh, you're going to, you're doing a guy portrait. Oh, awesome, CB. CB, I love your little faces. They are awesome. Everybody always tries to bribe me to get one of them when you send them. <laughs> I want a CB one. <laughs> um, Teresa Crafting Chaos is making another scavenger hunt journal. Her daughter snatched your first one. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so you have to start over? Oh my gosh, really? Completely from scratch? <clears throat> okay, so I have to decide, do I want any stars up here maybe because it would look cool to have them right there so i think i will paint in some black see that's that's slick so if i want to do pencil it in my uh stars i've got to paint that black i've got to have black base uh, where's my black paint where'd it go what do I do with my black paint this one's almost empty. Let's see if I can get a little bit out of there. I have a big bottle. Too. Oh, boo, didn't need that much. I have a big bottle, too. I need a couple more small bottles of black and white. Those are sit on the desk. Nice. Yeah, I know so many of y'all had so much fun with Janet's uh, scavenger hunt. Hashtag scavenger hunt 2018. Do you should get that coloring in the wild by Daisy Fletcher. Sounds familiar. I think I've seen it. I love when you add stars. Thank you. And these, that, I, I kind of like those post-it notes sticking out so you can kind of see where the edge of the book is. Without them, you can't really see where the book ends. Okay, so I'm just going to paint in in between some of the arches up here. I think I want to leave a little bit of those there. Not too much because I can't pencil over them. So I want to get... I want you to be able to see the little bit of the arch, the woodwork up there. But I want to try to paint as much as I can so that my uh, nebula, nebulization sticks to the page. Do I want that one black? I think I want this black. I didn't see if Janet and Eileen, what they're doing today. Maybe uh, Janet stepped away. I don't think, I haven't seen Eileen. Let me check my thing here. Is Eileen even here? Sometimes she has to run errands and but thanks everybody that's here. Appreciate it. We've almost a hundred people. That's good for a Monday morning. Yes, I do some Rachel. I haven't really shown it on my show yet. We'll have to see if that can be kept um, kosher for a better word. <laughs> 
Uh, Janet, don't know yet. Waiting for Eileen to get out of bed. <laughs> uh, but yes, I do. I do, Rachel. Um, a little. Not a, not a whole lot, but yeah. Um, okay, let me dry this so I can do some stars. Now let me get a little bit of white. Let me um, get a brush that'll flick a soft. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to take some of my white paint and just kind of move it over because I don't need too much stars. But I'm going to water that down. <clears throat> and I just want that over here on the side. So I'm going to move that out of the way without making too big of a mess because it's right on the edge. I'm going to splatter too big that's too big I'll get some of that off and what I'm going to do is wherever the stars go that I don't want it to go I will take a baby wipe and just get rid of where because it's wet paint, so I can wipe it off while it's wet like that. And I can put them back in with the Posca in more exact spots. Okay. So let me dry this. Oops, one right there. Oh, thanks, Sandra. That's nice. I have, I know, I, I never do anything halfway, guys. I have, I gave one to Denise. I gave one of the coloring Bibles to Denise, my original one. Denise, I gave that to her. So I had to replace it. And I showed it in my book, um, my, birth, my Christmas book haul, the purple Inspire with the vellum inserts. That got me, people. Those vellum, those painted vellum inserts got me. So I have one, two, three, do I have three? Because I gave one to Denise. So I think I have four. No, I got three. Maybe three. I got three or four. I got three or four of them. Oh my gosh see y'all are getting don't get creeped dad you don't know what how why don't you think of this without thinking of ghosts and aliens <laughs> okay so now i'm going to go in here with some strategic stars here and now i'm going to but you can think of it whatever you want. I mean, that's why I let leave it up to everybody's imagination to what could it be. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it the purple? You have the purple one, Rach? Rachel Love, you have the purple one? Okay, now let me get, um, do I have some pencil? Here we go. Let's grab some pencils. Here was my white. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to do maybe a little bit of, of stars. Do I zoom out? Do I need to zoom in? I don't remember if I zoomed out. Did I? I don't know. You're welcome, Mac. Even if it looked it wouldn't bother. Yeah, I know. It's just whatever, you know. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm not, I leave it up to you, everybody else's imagination. Okay, then maybe a little bit of orange. I'm not going to overdo the sky here. This, I'm just going to put in a little, let's do this with some... Because that's not going to be the focus. The focus really is going to be the words. 
I'm going to um, brush letter with my new Janet pen. See, now I only can put the pencil where the paint is. Like there's no paint, like right here there's no paint. So this is not going to work. It's not going to, you know, I mean I could bear down real hard and probably get it to work, but I'm having no pressure at all right here. Oh, um, Jean says it looks like a beautiful outdoor cathedral up in the mountains. I'm so glad you're feeling better, Jean. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do. Just that little bit. Maybe we'll have one shooting star. Let's drag it out a little further. Something like that. All right, now, see, here's where you got to be brave. Well, not really, because I could paint over it. <laughs> I'm going to do the word. I'm going to do a quote here, a Francis Bacon quote with my pen. And if it doesn't work, I will just paint it out. And <laughs> we'll start all over. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm so glad you're better, sassy pants. See, Zeely says it looks like a gateway to heaven. Okay, so let's see. Let me get um, let me get a pen. Let's get in the pen bag, shall we? <laughs> let's get in the pen bag. Oh, let's just open it slowly. <laughs> okay, so let's see which one of these, one of these two or three, one of these. Is, uh, let's see, that's the brush one. I think this one probably will work. I'm not sure if I want the smallest one or the second to the smallest one. Let's see. Yeah, that's smaller. So I think this is the one I want. Yeah. Okay. So I can't tell you anything about it other than that it's a Tombow. Uh, and it's got the hard, rubbery type tip on it. But that's all in Japanese. Um, I would recommend getting a... Jet pen sampler from Jet Pen. I think it comes five or six, and there's probably different sets you can buy. But some have the they'll have the brush tip, like the Pentel pocket brush pen type. This kind of brush that's like a real brush tip there, uh, and then some will have the marker type. But although it's not a felt tip, it's like a rubber tip. Can I show the purple Bible? Okay, well, let me finish this first. Let me finish this, and I still have to show you. I still have to show you this one. I do have, there's a video. It's, um, I do have a video. Um, I show it, uh, I show it, Marie, in my Christmas book haul video. I show it there. So if we don't get to it today. I bought the 100 markers. Oh, the Hoo Hoo Hero markers, yeah. Yeah, the Hoo Hoo Hero markers. Now, you can do this brush lettering type stuff. Let me get my alphabet samples, though, because I'm not, don't know my out my samples. I did make some, I did make some practice sheets. Now, I'm going to write way smaller than this. But I do have some practice sheets here. I wrote out the whole alphabet in a few different styles. So, I have some samples here of different um, forms of the letters. So if I can't, if I haven't got that particular letter memorized, and I haven't warmed up my hand, which is probably another mistake. <laughs> Just jumping right in and start brush leathering on a finished piece. So yeah, all right, but that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna brush leather right across here. And I have my quote. Where's my quote written at? Hang on. I got my quote written out somewhere. Where'd it go? Did I throw it away? Ah. 
nope, that's not it. What do I do with my clothes? Why do I have to pull it back out of, um, I have to pull it back out of my little quote book. I had it written out, you know, handwritten so that I, uh, let me go to my Francis Bacon quotes here. <clears throat> Okay, let me open that. Okay. All right, we're going to give this a go. Oh, thanks, Rachel. Flying by the seat of your pants. Yeah, and I'm no lines here. I should probably put a ruler down just to keep me straight. Well, I guess I could kind of go by this. All right, we're going to just go for it. All right, here we go. Let me look at my B there. Okay. I'm going to take my time, so it might take me a minute, guys. Maybe I should zoom in a little. I'm kind of far away. Yeah, don't look, I'm not using a ruler. I know, that's so bad. See, that's too thick. Oh well, I'll just thicken up the B. I pushed too hard. And I spelt beauty wrong. So now I do have to wipe that out. <laughs> it's supposed to say beauty. Hang on. Let's just wipe this out. I'll wipe this out and I'll go over it with uh, gray. Because that's what this is here. It's a blue gray. So I'll just fix it. So I shouldn't be looking at chat at all. When your grandson's burned out as well. I saw a video yet. Yeah, I know. I wish he had more time. He's he's a senior and he works and he goes to school and he, you know, he doesn't have the time he used to. But he has to do his senior art projects. Okay, that'll probably work right there. I may not need to add blue or gray blue, whatever. Okay, now let me um, dry that. Okay. What happened to Jean? <laughs> I don't need a ruler, I just need to know how to spell. <laughs> I'm really used to writing without a ruler in my own personal journaling and writing and note taking. I usually don't even use lined paper. But sometimes, you know, especially if you're doing any kind of calligraphy, it's a good idea to do so. Four set sampler is $12, Jerry said. Well, you got to be able to work with it if you mess it up. Nice fix it.
<sighs> I'm holding my breath. <laughs> You're waiting for me to breathe. See, this is where you're planning a little better so your letters don't bounce into each other. But it is what it is. I'll go this way with this one. There's probably not little space there but y'all gotta remember I'm new to the brush lettering too and now let me look up an I capital I Okay, they just have like one big swoop. That's pretty good. That'll fit here. Maybe a little curl there. Now, let's see how small can I write Francis Bacon. Let me look up an F. <clears throat> this is going to be very tiny here. Look at chat in just a minute, guys. Okay, I can breathe now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hey, Mountain Dreamer, Teresa. All right, let's back out a little and see if it's kind of even. I hope. <laughs> oh, all right, there we go. Beauty itself is but the sensible image of the infinite. 
and again this could have been a little shoved over this way so that those the F and the E didn't lock but you know I think it turned out okay thanks Judy Patootie it just works with the page thanks guys so yeah all right so let's see about and I need to put a flag on this one because I want to photograph it The only thing is I don't like, like I said, is where the E and the F locked. It makes me want to fix it. I think I will. I'm going to fix it, guys. i got to fix that. It's going to bug me if I don't. Let me get a little bit of uh, gray. Just a dollop. Come on. There we go. A little white and a little slate blue. I gotta fix that. I don't like where the F. I just make. I'll just read. I'll make the F go the other way. I just don't like how they're. And that's why, I like when I do calligraphy with like a, a a nib pen, I pencil in my letters, because you only got one shot on a certificate. Know what I mean, Vern? Okay, now let me dry that. Those letters are infringing on each other. Yes, they're infringing. There. It's a little not the same shape as the other F's, but <clears throat> it's okay. It's better. It's better than them locked in there, you know? Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Letter infringement. <laughs> I could get kind of really brave and put some more mist almost touching you know Jenny I was coming out with a coloring book and Cur I knew Kirby was coming out with a new color book yeah I knew about that one Phantomorphia we talked about that last week um, I think I saw something about Jane having one but I haven't seen anything other than someone saying something about it but I did know about Phantomorphia yeah last uh, Friday Rachel loves uh, I have a show I recorded last Friday where I flipped through my Kirby's flip through my Kirby's okay so do I want I might where's my brush here it is <clears throat> nope that's the wrong one okay I'm gonna put a little <clears throat> just a little bit of more mist like right along the letters here not too much just enough to kind of Oops, picked up the gray. Didn't want to do that. Want the white. Just to give it a little bit more brightness to the quote. I don't want to go over the letters though. I think that'll do right there. Like that. Okay. Okay. I think we're good, Janet, with the pen. So this, if 
anybody wants to know, I mean, I, if you read Japanese, there's no, no uh, size or anything on it. But it's that. Oh, thanks, Rachel. Okay, so there we go. I think I'm going to call that page done. Let me take a picture of it real quick while I got it here. I need a brush on here, though. Not that one. Where's my other brush? Where's the one I just had? Here it is. I'm going to set my brush. Let's flatten it out because it's wet. Set my brush and my pen. If y'all want to, instead of putting like, uh, what do you call it, um, instead of putting uh, watermarks, just put some pins on there. Although, if anybody wants to steal what you've done, they're going to find a way to do it. Do I want the, it's not one to stay. Let's see, let's do it. I kind of want the pin there. I want the pin to show the Tombow. There we go. All right, stay still. Don't move. Nobody breathe. Nobody breathe. Okay, got a picture. <laughs> Which Kirby is my favorite? I like the paper in the last one because it's thicker. But I don't know. Don't know that I have a favorite overall because they all have kind of the same, you know, myth theme to them. I do like those pins, Janet. Okay, so there we go. We have about 20 minutes left before this segment, before we run out of time, you know, we get, we get about a little less than three hours, we get about two hours and 45 minutes before we have to start another one. Oh, I know what I was going to show you real quick. I was going to show you this one. I can't even remember when we come back your pins. Don't spill out on me. Let me, let me zip you back up. <laughs> let me back out. <laughs> okay, let's move all this out of the way. Let's move my stamps up to the stamps. Let's move this out of the way. Move the paint. Gotta make room. Okay. Okay. So this is another book that I got. This is quite a large book. I forgot it's like 16, 18. Let me move these. Hang on, so I don't stub my toe again. Um. And I just paint it over and put some gloss varnish over it just to cover up the uh, just to cover up the cover. Uh, it's about uh, 15, almost about 14 and three quarters by eight. And this book is one of the, this is probably the first full on altered book that I started on stream. I've done other books like this, but years before I started streaming. <coughs> I never finished one. I've never finished one. Never completely finished a whole book. Not even my magazine journals. Maybe I should show y'all those. Some of the magazine journals. Because you can do the same kind of thing in a magazine. We'll just do maybe we'll do that for the next 15 or 20 minutes. We'll do a little bit of flips. How about that? Instead of working on another page. Um, so this one was, and I even painted out the intro, <laughs> but it's all uh, landscapes. It's like all over the world and uh, cityscapes, cityscapes, that's what it was, cityscapes. And uh, so it, you can see where I've blacked out things and that's I didn't get too I don't have too many in here other than the blacked out ones and uh, there's a few in here though that I did on stream probably back in 2011 it was probably the second year I started streaming I started streaming in 2010 so it was probably about 2011 you like this book Terry when I when I worked in this book and this was back when I was having to move from room to room to find a good spot to stream whether because of uh and see i've just whited out here and when i say it's not just so it's just white paint um 
when I was having either issues with Ustream or issues with my modems or whatever, I was having to go from room to room to find a good, good uh, hot spot to stream from. Here's one where um, this this stuck together. I splattered. I started splattering and I didn't let it dry. So that kind of, you know, that's what happens if you don't let it dry. So I just want to show you some. This is how you can. And I think I really started. My intention was to to do the whole book. Um, black it all out before I started doing anything although here's where we did a little bit of clouds painted a little bit of clouds um, <laughs> but y'all know I love me some Sean Connery right um, <laughs> and uh, this I like this where this one's going. I like the blue and yellow, but again, it's none of these are really done. I might have two pages done in this book. I know it's horrible, right? This one. This was done with a stream malfunction day. I think there were like there was a net split and there was like three of us or five of us in the stream and everybody else was in another chat in a net split. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Um, but anyway, this was all here. All these buildings are here. And then I just glued her in. Um, but anyway, so I, I think now we're getting to some pages where it's not. Okay, here's one where I started doing some collage. And um, this was a fountain, I think. Um, <laughs> this is a book that made me go, oh, okay, painting in books. I get it now. Yeah, Terry, yeah. <laughs> Again painted everything out but the you know it's an aerial view so this is a good one to splatter your stars and make space and planets and marbles for planets and a whole galaxy a whole nebula this is a good one for that see um so anyway i love me some and i came across i don't know who sent it to me but i came across i came across this when i was cleaning something out the other day <laughs> Somebody sent me this, I forget who. It's a little Sean tile. It's a little tile with Sean Connery. So I put it in my, I got to keep this close by. Y'all know that. I love me some Sean Connery. Uh, uh oh, where did it, there it goes. <laughs> Get, okay. And so anyway, this was some napkins. We glued some napkins as a base. Did some stamping and napkins. We just played, just played in a lot of these pages. So, oh, here it is. So, <laughs> we put Sean in the fountain <laughs> and then painted him in, you know. This is an advertisement of Sean with the Louis Vuitton bag ad, and he's sitting on a dock, and we cut him out and put him in the fountain. <laughs> So, yeah, there's my Sean. Love me some Sean. Uh, here's one that's done. This is uh, a yellow brick road. And all that was here was this guy and these pigeons. So we painted in a yellow brick road. And, um, yeah, painted around all the pigeons. <laughs> So I don't know what else is in here. Let's do a quick flip. But I call it reverse collage because you're you're reversing out the images, right? I think there might be a couple more in here. This one. Yeah, without the Louis Vuitton bag. And I know I tell this story all the time. Hubster pulled out the um, one of his magazines. It was, you know, I don't know if it was Alaska. I don't know what, what it was. And uh, he pulled out the uh, that ad. He pulled out that ad with Sean Connery in the bag sitting next to him on the dock. And this was when Boo was probably about five. I don't remember really how it was a long time. It was, you know, back when this ad was all popular. Probably about five, six. Let's see, she's... She's 15, so it had to be like, gosh, 10 years ago? Anyway, so he pulled out that ad and he said, look, Boo, your Nana loves this. And he was talking about Sean. And, and Boo zoomed right in. She goes, oh, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> 
anyway okay so that is and so i just covered this with some scrapbook paper and smeared some paint on and put some varnish on it just to protect it so you can see i varnished it <laughs> uh, so that's my um yeah my big reverse collage book uh, and then some of the magazine journals i'll just pull a few here because we got tons uh let's see what I, let's see here let's see what we got we got this one we got this one we got this one Oh, this is a this is a, a composition book, and then there's this one. What else? I got two more composition books. Another sketchbook. I won't. I don't want to go through all the composition books though. Although this is, come back here. This one we started as making a fluffy. This was a fluffy start here. Let's separate the composition books. And then I got the. Uh, magazine journal one the mini magazine journal one so let's scoot this over here hang on so this it's been a while since we worked in this one because then we kind of went to society of idea collectors we went to syllables anyway so this is one of the this is two somerset studio it's not the summer it's not the somerset studio one it's one of their other ones blog one it might have been an art journal one anyway it's it's two magazines cut in half so there's four halves right four halves you can take the magazines to staples office max whatever and they'll cut them in half for you for a couple of dollars i would recommend doing that mine are not neat i cut them with the metal ruler and an exacto knife it's time consuming trust me it's time consuming to cut a full-on magazine in half and it's never going to come out perfect whereas this if you take it to one of the places and have them cut it for you it will be it will be perfectly flush so I would recommend doing that. So this is, I'm just going to do a quick flip. It is uh, just different things that we've done in here. It's with magazines. It's kind of just like the, it's just like the um, altered books, except you're altering a magazine. Okay. You're altering magazines. Same thing. Here's some that, you know, I've just, and, and I did go through this whole thing and white out every text, pretty much. 99% of the text, there's probably some ads that I missed, but, uh, and I painted the edges black. And, but all the, all the initial text is whited out. So it's ready for play. So I'm just going to do a flip. Just going to do a flip. So you can see where we've done the same kind of thing with the altered books, except you're using magazines. And that's what all these are. They're mag full-on magazines. This is just the mini magazine mind mapping, idea collecting. <laughs> we called it MMICPP. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, MMICPP, but that's what it come <laughs> came out to be. Oh, here's one where we did um, uh, use the, made some little, just took the ink bottle and the dropper, the the dropper, and drew with the ink dropper. <laughs> That's a stamp right there. Um, there's a little pumpkin sticker, and yeah. <laughs> I know, right, Terry? It's it, take it to some place and have them cut it for you. I'm serious. Do that. So I'm just going to quickly flip because we only have about 10 minutes left on this episode. We could probably do another, let's see what time is, 11.30, 12.31. I think we'll just probably do this today. We, we'll probably, you know, after this uh, next 20 minutes or so. Syllables. Um, uh, Kim, I'll show you my syllables book in a minute, okay? If we get a chance. I have a whole bunch. There's probably 20 videos on syllables. Well, Society Idea Collectors and syllables. 
it's it's using all your little leftover ephemera die cuts all the little things that you have left over from everywhere i put them all in a binder and they're my little syllables syllables are little parts of words so they're little parts of art that you can use in bigger art pieces totally damaged goods <laughs> oh terry here's my uh thumbprint ladybugs So, and you don't have to, you know, just use, just use it, open it up at a random page and doodle and, you know, we didn't get too far in this. Let's just, let's be honest. We, we got a few things done in it, but then we moved on to, <laughs> we're always moving on to new projects. So find the ones that work for you and chill. <laughs> I use a lot of uh, hand, um, we did a lot of hand painting. This is a lot of paint smears with hand uh, finger painting. This is all finger painting here. All finger painting. Yeah, yeah. Again, just drawing in, you know. So we did this one, I guess was about a year ago, something like that. There's one of my hand-carved gargoyles. And, um, yeah, little cave here, the castle. More, this is more finger painting. No, I'm not, it's syllables, like parts of words. Yeah, it's not syllabus, syllables, yeah. Oh, and this was our enabler page. Uh, Eileen, Janet, who was the third enabler this week? Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> and the dog, the wolf is howling. No! <laughs> I love this page. <laughs> These are some, those were some uh, already uh, on the page, out of the sword. More paint smearing with your fingers. I, I, if I get a, and this is a Pam character. So we added wings to her and the spine, see the little spine there? I We hand drew the spine there and added the wings. Another one, we just uh, added all the forest. They're fun to play in. This is the kind of stuff, if you don't know what to do, you're not inspired. Here's our little um, tropical vacation. Finger painting. I'm sure I'm missing some of them. Pile of prot, Terry Trouble. I get a lot of her quotes in my stuff. Get out of my head, Terry. Pop, pile of projects. <laughs> That's, that is us, though. Piles of projects. <laughs> uh, here's some irises. Yeah, we did the uh, meeting of the beards. <laughs> And then some cactus. This is just hand-drawn cactus, guys. It's so easy to do, draw cactus. So we did that. It was just a green page. We drew some cactus. So there's some little fields here. And there was a bird on that page. And added the purple and the blue. 
<laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Adding all this paint. And, you know, you just paint on top of everything. Palm reading. There was a hand over here, so we drew palms. Palm reading. Get it? <laughs> and these are all just fun things that we've done on the stream. And again, this is probably, I'm guessing, about a year ago when we did this one. And there's lots of flips and, and projects in it. Here's Go With The Flow. Painted all that in there. Um, so, you know, it's just fun to have a book just to throw, literally hand smear paint in. Hand smear the paint in it. Okay, so big and bold. We just outline some things. Um, did lightning striking, did a little bird on a wire. Here's stand. That word was there and we just went with it. So use and use what colors are in the piece on the page. Use the colors that are on the page as your color inspiration. It's all just acrylic paint, all just acrylic paint. Okay, so, again, this is the, uh, and, and if you don't want your spine to warp, work front to back, front to back, some in the middle, some in the front, some in the back. Otherwise, your spines will warp. Okay, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. <clears throat> One second. Okay. Sorry, I've been drinking juice. I couldn't take one more minute. Sorry, I had to run. <laughs> um, okay, so there's that. And then before we did the mini magazine ones, we were doing full size magazine glued together um, journals, make uh, altered, you know, play, play magazine play. And I think this is one of the newer ones. This was some Flow magazines. So these were some Flow magazines. I don't know how much. I think this one was more just to show you. Oh, there's a couple things we've done. But I showed how to glue them together. So this is three, two, two flow, three flows. Anyway, it's two or three flows glued together. And then covered with scrapbook paper and clear packing tape for the for the spine and I think we've only done two because this one was more about the demo in how to make it so but we did do a couple pages in it I think ah there's one missed one it's right in here no nope, that's where the spines glued I saw it I saw a couple pages in here when I was flipping Here's one. We did this one. <laughs> Where's that page? <laughs> so this one, and again, it's all the same process. It's painting out, collaging in, painting over it, you know. It's just mixed media art journal play, just making it out of a magazine. So this one was the newest one. 
and it was it's not going to have much in it because again this was just to show you how to make one so but it's all the same they're all the same process I don't know how old these are so these three this one again this one was two flow magazines I think or if it yeah flow um, again probably some was done to show how to glue it and everything but there's probably a few pages done in here it's all the same type thing well, let's uh, skip over this let's see I'm sure there's something done in here but they're all essentially the same and this one has a uh, scrap of paper on the back the magazine on the front paint some I think that's some painted out and then this is uh, washi tape but it's the washi tape is glued down and covered with packing tape never use washi tape as a tape other than just like a light piece of paper or something washi tapes not going to hold anything together now which one of these is the oldest one I'm not sure this one's probably got the most stuff done in it I have another one up there where'd it go because this one's not the completed one or one that's almost full this one's not full either okay I'm not sure this has got a couple things in it but I have two like this one that are full that have lots of stuff done in them and we drew some little girls and this is it sounds like it's really stuck together but it's not I mean it's not like pulling anything off so it's got sketches of animals it's just that this one has been in the bottom of the pile <laughs> this one is at the very bottom of the pile let me just bend it here and so the acrylic paint sounds like it's going to tear your pages but it really isn't okay so here's where I've whited out a bunch um, where is my this is not the one I want this one's half sketchbook okay this is half sketchbook half magazine where's my other magazine one hang on I have another one here I've got two more I know I know of two more um, where are you where are you little puppies ah here we go I found them Here's two more. <laughs> okay, so here's two more magazine ones. And this one has a real warped spine. Because I didn't go front to back, front to back. So you can see how much your spine will warp if you don't go front to back. Here's one. These are old, guys. These are really old. Yeah, always glue washi. And even still, I went over it with packing tape. These are way back from when, um, these are my art journals from way back when we started streaming. These are just the magazine journals. Um, I've got, a ton, I got two shelves. Well, more than that. Two shelves of big art journals. One shelf of me, two shelves of medium. And a whole double road shelf of small journals. I've gone through them all before, but I'll pull one of these up. I hear you, Diva. Let's see if I can reach up here and get this. And I have my desk journals, which are these small leather ones. See? <laughs> so we got plenty of uh, plenty of journals too. If we ever want to do more, well, I've shown probably most all these. Everybody's probably seen most of them. Desk journals are leftover things from collage and you just glue them in and then you go back and you make things with it later you know so I got tons of those too but we won't go through that right now I was hoping that the UPS guy was going to come before time ran out but we're almost out of time so let me quickly just kind of flip through some of these magazine journals here oh let's go here so yeah there's lots of, um, and again, it's smeared paint, using the images on there, 
adding collage if you want, playing with them. Um, <clears throat> the gesture is starting to look fairly good. Shocker? Why would it be shocker? <laughs> you did good, Terry. So here's a good example of using the hangers had pink, orange, and blue hangers. So that's the color of paint. Let me bend them so they're not crispy. <laughs> and they're all in different stages. Let's just, you know, flip quickly here. <laughs> so you can kind of see some pages are nothing some pages got a lot of paint but this these projects here I always tell everybody these are great for learning how to blend colors and match colors because if you just take a little bit of the whatever is on the page and use those colors as your inspiration you're going to learn how to blend colors you're going to learn how to mix colors it's just a good way to practice blending and picking colors so yeah but they're just fun play journals that one and then this one okay this one was i had less this was three magazines here this was less warpage or is that just two thick ones i can't tell whereas this one i tried to do front to back and it really warped the spine so with stencils leftover sprays this see this was the title this was on this was the article lively art of lettering see now oh yeah yeah wait for it <laughs> oh yeah baby oh yeah <laughs> now that we're doing brush lettering <laughs> okay lovely Oh, we're lively now. <laughs> Let me look up an A, though. See, I got my little cheat sheet over here. There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so now I would be doing this kind of lettering instead of any kind of calligraphy. But um, let me just kind of, we'll go through this real quick. This one has more done in it probably than the other ones. I say that, but maybe not. Maybe I just need to flip from the back find some pages that we yeah here's where was uh drawing with um drawing with the knit uh the dropper just the dropper out of the ink bottle and writing with the dropper all right 
hang on, I gotta move this out of the way. We'll spend 30 minutes putting away books. Say, practicing with the, just drawing with the, uh, the dropper itself. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Say. I think everything in here is drawn with, um, the writing is done with the dropper. Dropper drawing, yeah. Dropper lettering. <laughs> Drew our own, uh, wind, made our own windmill out of that one. Let's see here. So, yeah. But these are fun. So just take you a magazine and uh, paint. Sorry, don't feel well, Aaron. Get well. Current events. <laughs> anyway, so. Drew our, we drew our own bird. We looked at one of these and drew our own flowers. Just whatever. Just whatever we felt like. So these are quite old. Stencils. More stencils. So, yeah. We've been at this a long time, haven't we, Paula? <laughs> So anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I think that's enough journals and flipping. And, but I do really like my... Um, okay, hang on. Okay, it's telling me I've got, I'm out of time. So let me just show our piece one more time. Here we go. So this is what we did today. Beauty itself is but the sensible image of the infinite. So, y'all head over to Janet's at 1, Monkey Island Madness. And I'm not sure if Jean's streaming today. She's just getting over a stomach thing. So, I'm not sure if she's streaming. But um, I hope y'all have a great day. And we'll see you later. Bye, guys.